And the one thing that I want to take one and tarnish to, when you said you got a little dig, you said, did I understand the answer that you gave to Deputy MacDonald and others? I'll say one thing to you clearly in this house. When it comes to understanding the electorate of Ireland, when it comes to understanding the people, what they want, what they require, the people can look at you and listen to you, or they can look at me and listen to me, and let the people decide who they think is more yeah, in yeah. tune yeah, yeah. with what the people of Ireland require. Thank you, Deputy. Because when I hear some of the nonsense that you come out with, my goodness, you're no man to look down your nose at me as if I'm something that you stood yeah. up on top of. I'm elected here every bit as good as you Thank are. You, Deputy. And you know, maybe a lot better than you are. But the funny thing about it is, I wouldn't dare to look down my nose at you or anyone else because I don't do that. But maybe you do because Thank you're you, a bit Deputy, of a big shot. But like I say, off we do with the airy fairies and see how far it will get you. Thank but you, you can be sure of one thing, it's not a nice thing to look her down her nose at me and say what you said to me a while ago. Tarnished it. Not nice. And it's not, not nice what you said to me either, Deputy, just there, quite frankly. Um, reflect on it and think about it. Just think about what you said, OK? Um, but leave, 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 yeah, think of, no, think about what you said. Think about, think about what you said. What have you said? Are you yeah. exactly no, what I said? Please, no. No, you, no, no, reflect on it, think about it, come back here tomorrow or the next day and take it back if you want to. Uh, Deputy, the truth is you look down on me. Uh, you think that because I'm from Dublin, because I'm middle class, because I, talk, I, I, don't, I don't talk the way you talk and I have the accent that I have, that somehow I don't understand real people. Well, you're wrong, Deputy. I'm elected just as much as you are. Everyone in this House has a mandate. We have a mandate because real people elect them, uh, elect us, and that's, why, and, that's, and that's precisely why we stand here. And, Deputy, I know as well as you do that you had the opportunity to serve in government. I was there in 2016. Uh, when the opportunity was, for you to, was there for you to serve in government, for you to be a cabinet minister, and you turned it down. Because the truth is, you'd rather, you'd rather come in here. You would rather come in here. You'd rather come in here and make personalised digs about people in government than actually have to make hard decisions that might cost you a few votes. In, uh, uh, that might actually cost you a few votes in Kerry. Because if you did enter government uh, as an independent, you would have to make hard decisions. And just like every independent who enters government, you would lose votes. And that's why you run a mile from government. And that's exactly what you did uh, in 2016. Thank you, Tony, for uh, the time uh,